why focus on one niche aren't we limiting our opportunities when we focus only on one niche business owners are terrified with the idea of narrowing down their target market to one niche and they resist this idea a lot they fear that my sales potential will reduce the fear is understandable but what is really beneficial for the businesses and the business owner going widespread jack of all trades or going deep master of one let me throw some light on the subject having one niche is always a great proposition provided you have enough market size in that niche now number one point it is generalist versus specialist needless to say who gets paid more the specialist right not the generalist and please note specialists are busier with loads of special high value assignments than probably generalist people come searching for the specialist on number 2 rejection versus red carpet if you offer what everyone else offers then there is no reason why the customer to select you among the crowd and probably you will be rejected more often but if you have a track record of your expertise in a one particular area you will receive a red carpet welcome from all your customers now point number 3 distraction versus focus when you do not have niche you end up with shiny object syndrome that is running after something that feels new something that feels exciting probably when you run in different directions you the end result is that you stay where you are when you have one niche to target and serve you have laser sharp focus and get substantially better results point number 4 spray and pray strategy versus targeted marketing i have already explained this in my earlier video why spray and pray approach does not work when you are clear about who is your target and you know them inside out then your marketing message is really pointed and customized and it hits the right chords otherwise it feels fluffy and ineffective beyond marketing and sales there are other numerous advantage of having niche that is expertise in one area so the point number 5 is price competition versus premium when you are recognized as an expert and number 1 in one area you will always enjoy premium pricing and you will transact on your terms whereas if you are widespread and there is no one thing that you are famous for then you will have to compete against those who are you need to prove how you are better than other experts in that area point number 6 is shallow versus deep this is typically about your team when you deal with different technologies and industry application then you need experts in those different areas if you can afford them then the cost goes up and if you compromise on the expertise then you would end up with a very shallow and superficial knowledge whereas when you have limited areas to master you can really go deep into the subject and acquire ninja level skills point number 7 less with more versus more with less when you are dealing with different types of products technologies you end up having big variety of everything different and more manpower more inventory of every product more time required to process because of the changes required in setup more documentation more monitoring more sops more checkpoints more vendors you need everything more and comparatively the outcome is less on the other hand when you master one thing 
your efficiency is at a next level and you can accomplish much more with less inputs. Point number eight is variables and errors versus perfection and consistency. Combining previous two points, because of the variety of so many things and the lack of expertise in every area, there is always more chaos, surprises, first time experiences, lack of established processes, which results into errors, mistakes, blunders and firefighting all the time. Business owners burn out handling all such variations, but there is no choice. They end up spending a lot of time in business rather than working on business, which is actually their number one KRA. As against that, when you are working in one niche, you have all the necessary experience, expertise, setup, system so well established that everything moves like clockwork. You free up a lot of time for yourself or for the working on business growth. I think these are good enough reasons to identify one niche and build your expertise to get all these advantages in long term. In case you are still not convinced, here is a midway. I am not telling you to stop accepting inquiries and orders from outside of your niche. Keep doing that as you are doing it right now. Simultaneously start building niche. There is nothing to lose. Secondly, if you wish to target all segments, then start working on one segment at a time. Establish all the lead generation and sales conversion strategies for that one segment. Once you learn how to do it, then apply to other segments as well one by one. Our caution is, you will never get results if you start applying these strategies to all the segments at a time, trust me.